Hey guys, welcome to my video. This is the start of a new series I'm going to try to do semi-regularly called Local Legends, where I find out about a band from a local scene. It could be from any scene as long as A, I've listened to them, and B, if they possess a sound that I think is unique to them. I want to make this a suggestion-based series, so if you want me to talk about a band, comment below, and if it meets the criteria, I will make a video about it. Anyways, I wanted to make the first episode a little weird, so I picked the band Blouse from Sacramento, which just so happens to be my local scene. Blouse's members consist of Riley Partnan on bass and vocals, Julian Hall on guitar and vocals, and Jacob Waite on drums, making Blouse a three-piece. I wonder if that's why they have a three in their name. Their first album is called Interdenominational Picnic, with this insane looking album cover released in 2021. But that's not the album that we're covering today, though the tracks Phantom Tooth and Two Trick Pony, both of which were singles and the deep cut Double Positive, Triple Negative are notable highlights. Today we are talking about their 2023 follow-up, Illusion of Traffic. Unlike the band's previous record, the sound on here is much clearer and better produced from song to song, which across its 30 minute runtime only spans 8 tracks. Interdenominational Picnic had 7 songs but was just short of 20 minutes, so overall Blouse stepped up their writing ability on this one. Second, it doesn't have an insane looking album cover, this time opting for a more subdued minimalist painting with the title Illusion of Traffic spelled backwards. I personally feel like this style better reflects the vibe that their music gives off. Speaking of which, what does their music sound like? If I had to distill it down into one genre, I would cheat and I would call it two genres. Post-punk shoegaze is the closest thing I could come up with, but that doesn't even really cover it. I think the best way I can explain it is by playing some of it. Now, I'm not going to be talking about every song, but I'm going to cover my personal favorites, starting with If Fish Had Hips. This song has such a perfect blend of textures with these hollowed drums, buzzed out guitars, and super heavy distorted bass that underpins the track. The only thing missing is some screaming. Oh yeah, how could I forget that this song has one of the best vocal performances courtesy of Riley, and just the right amount of dynamics for the track, especially when shit goes off the rails. Also, the guitar on this track played by Julian is so fucking sick. It always feels like it's on the verge of being a tonal or too out there, but it manages to stay in its wailing cacophony of distortion and unstableness while still managing to stay pretty harmonious. It's probably my favorite guitar part on the record as well. The next song I want to talk about is the title track, Illusion of Traffic. The song starts out very quiet, almost too quiet, before erupting into this sludgy, angry verse section. If I'm hearing it correctly because there are no lyrics online, Julian is saying, rubber towels on the pavement, my only form of contact, I hear metal scraping, on the way that I drive daily. That's then followed up by the chorus that screams, During this section, we get a really nice chord progression accented by the linear notes that are overdubbed. We then break into verse 2, traveling down this highway, I got fluids in an IV, there's a blood clot, stalemate, do not resuscitate. I'm assuming from the context given that this song is written about a car accident, which I can relate to pretty hard because I accidentally got into one on my 18th birthday. It was not our fault we were sitting at a red light, a drunk lady hit the person behind us and then they hit us. The whole thing was just really scary, but no one got hurt except the car, uh, the Claremobile. But moving back to the song, it its general composition and vibe are pretty dark, even in its chorus when it's a little easier to digest. The layers of dissonance make this song pretty anxiety inducing, but I feel like that's intentional. I mean, the song's talking about a traumatic event, so expecting a light, easy song is kind of wild. But I do think that this song is a little long. I know, I know the song is like four and a half minutes long, boo fucking who. I still really like the song, but I feel like it could have been like 30 seconds shorter and it wouldn't have changed much. Okay, moving on to the next song, Diesel, number two, 
Let's get all the musical stuff out of the way before we talk about the lyrics. I think the drums on the song are exceptional with this stop and go feeling that I really like. Also, the ghost notes on the snare are really fun to listen to. This time, Riley and Julian team up on the vocals and exchange lines, but my favorite lines are the ones sang by Julian, especially when he says, two lines we can extract a lot. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what entropy was, so when I looked it up, I saw a thermodynamic quantity representing the unavailability of a system's thermal energy for conversion into mechanical work, often interpreted as the degree of disorder or randomness in a system, or in a much easier way, uh, that it's a lack of order or predictability, a gradual decline into disorder. I looked at that shit, and thought, what the fuck did I just read? But here's how I think it wraps around to the rest of the song. In the call and response portion of the song, they continuously mention fire, burning, and oil in the ground, which if you know anything about anything, you know is referring to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, wood, hydropower, and wind power are entropic. Um, and so entropic eddies are areas of entropic emanations that often lead to those who live near them becoming more chaotic. So we come full circle. Well, not really because we only analyzed one word, but your oasis is my entropy can now be interpreted as the oasis of the people at the top, your, who profit off the creation of oil and the gradual decline into disorder of the planet and the people on it is the entropy part. So that's the way that I, I interpreted it. It could also be read from the grounds perspective if you wanted to understand it I guess personify it. Your oasis is my fossil fuel is like a very simplified version of that explanation. I'm honestly not entirely sure if the people in Blouse think this hard about their lyrics, but I love them because they made me think this hard about this song. But anyways, the song ends with this fiery barrage of snare and this, this feedback before returning to the song's main riff and then imploding. Easily one of my favorite moments on the record. If you like what you've been hearing so far, then you'll probably also like the last song, Dog Imitation. It's the longest song at a little over five minutes, but the way that the song is presented and the specific guitar tone chosen reminds me a lot of their previous songs I mentioned, which are similarly strained and fuzz. But the real meat on this song lies in the absolutely nutty time work that goes in at about the minute mark. It honestly has to be intentional because the guitar and drums are locked in time with each other, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what time signature this song is in. It sounds like it's two bars of three, four, and then two bars of four, but the second bar is a little shorter. That could be from just the live recording of it. That's the way I contextualized this part. This could be so wrong. Honestly, on re-listen, it kind of sounded like it was one bar of three, one bar of four, and then another time signature after that. But honestly, it just sounds cool and ear grabby. After this point in the track, we are met by this build that lasts for pretty much the duration of the track. It finally culminates with Riley's final screams. This song is a killer closer and I hope they play it live at their shows. I don't really know how they do it because it sounds like there's two guitars on it. But anyways, this album has been out for like three months, so it's still pretty new. If you'd like any of the songs in this video and you want to hear them more, please check out Blouse's Bandcamp page where you can find this album. Buy it, stream it, do whatever. Also, they do close and show announcements on their Instagram, so get in on the band while they're still hip, guys. Also, if you like this video, subscribe, like, or do whatever. Okay, bye.